right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Booze and Dudes program and um, podcast. That's it. It's not a podcast uh, program. It's a podcast. And uh, we are here with a dating game. And uh, we did bring um, two lovebirds together today. And uh, we have, of course, someone that you brought. And that was Emily Triple D. Emily Triple D on the program today. And then we got Draven. Draven looking very much like a cross between Blade and Star-Lord. Starblade, Starblade is here, and then, of course, Stoner Tim is in the house. Stoner Tim, Sling Blade. very much... <laughs> Sling Blade. <laughs> Sling Blade. Stoner Tim being very much a stoner. <laughs> very much a stoner, but like I said, uh, entertaining episode, of course. Guys, you have to watch it. It's fantastic. Um, it's fun for the whole family. Wouldn't you say, Chuck? Fun for the whole family. It is the dating game, and ladies and gentlemen... It, it was a fantastic night and, um, you know, full of, full of sparks. I've seen full of sparks and fireworks. It's going to be an entertaining episode. And a grandmother asking to see tits. That's it. All right. So let's start the episode. The dream I've broken, seen that all was lost. Would you be the future? Could you pay the cost? You were... Will there ever be a second time around? Whoa, and it's over, and the moment has come. Say, my lord, I think I found someone, and no one would be better to put it together for the second time around. <laughs> Fresh time over, a different hand to play. Deeper we fall, the stronger we stay. We will be better. Sessions on the rail. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are here, we are live. This is the Booze and the Dudes podcast, and um, we came through. I mean, everyone came through, at the, and this is this is finally happening. This is a long time coming. We're doing the dating game, ladies and gentlemen. DK came through, got got someone willing to do the the dating game, and uh, tell us a little bit about what you know what what happened. Well, it's obviously no uh, no secret that I'm a pervert and I'm freak. <laughs> And I have a, a handful of friends that I've made uh, through certain contacts that are very um, adventurous and open as me. So I went to my lovely friend Emily Triple D. That's that's her that's her name, Emily Triple D. <laughs> and I asked her, "Would you be interested in being on the Booze and News podcast and doing the dating game?" Now she wasn't uh, sure at first as to what the dating game is, and I know that this is. Uh, 2021 and the dating game is like close to 70 years old so look let me explain what the dating game is and i'm gonna give it back to you sir mm -hmm. so the dating game was a game show back in the 60s where a lovely young lady would be on the other side of a partition and she would ask questions to three single studs with tiny penises very, very <laughs> tiny penis very tiny penis so small so small <laughs> and Judging on her, uh, on, on the answers that the, the studs give them, she picks who she'd like to go on a date with, and um, and we'll take care of the date for them. Uh, this being uh, you know local, we're gonna keep it local. You know, we take them to a bar, take them to a nice dinner, and I have told Emily since Emily is a wild child, Emily Triple D, <laughs> if by chance a wild hare gets up her ass to get a little. Frisky, they have my bedroom all to themselves. Wow. And back to you. Hubba hubba. <laughs> so, <laughs> this originally we did set this up to be uh, have Eddie here, but we just recently found out that he's a gay man. Completely, 100%. And uh, so he is not, he's not he's not willing. He's gay? Yep. 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 Right? Yeah. Wait, so. Yeah, well, well, that's what happened. 
Yeah, I didn't even know this shit. And I know this fool that's so fucking loud. Hey, don't talk. I didn't introduce you yet, okay? <laughs> Who's that? Who's that in the background? Yes. But anyways, like I said, long story yeah, short, this is. is all about Eddie. And unfortunately, it just didn't go down. So uh, whatever the case be. We did. We did want to come through for you guys, and uh, we did get a couple of contestants. And um, obviously, um, M here was willing to be uh, our lady. So let's go ahead and let's talk to um, let's go ahead and talk to M here. Let's put her on the camera. Okay, so M, thank you for doing this. Can, can you talk? Can you, yeah, I can. Get a little closer. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure you're comfortable with that. So when Joe, when DK hit you up to be on this show, what was your thoughts? Um, my fuck buddy is introducing me to, like, a guy to have sex with because he's losing his virginity or wants to lose his virginity. Mm. Pretty close, right? <laughs> yeah. That, uh, that, was, that was the original thing. But uh, as, like I said, obviously things have changed, you know, we, we, but we did get you better contestants, okay? Because, you know, it would have been, been kind of odd to have you with, uh, with our buddy, but uh, we did get you, we did get you, um, we did get you a better choice. So let's, really, really awesome <laughs> let's meet, let's meet the, let's meet the contestants. We got, uh, we got, uh, what do you want to be known as? Psycho on the show? Draven. What? Draven. Draven? <laughs> we got Draven over here. Say hi to, say hi to M. What's up, M? What's up? You can hear him? Okay. All right. And then we got, of course, Stoner Timmy. He's a, a regular on this show. Stoner Timmy. Yep. So oh, yeah. say hi Later. say hi to M, Tim. Those cheese nice and sweat for me. Say hi. Yeah? Oh, hi, M. Sorry about that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so guys, go ahead and tell, uh, tell M a little bit about yourselves. Start with you, Draven. Uh, well, um, recently uh, single. Uh, was injured in a work accident last year, so I'm currently not not on work. Um, but you know, I'm a nice guy. I'm a gentleman. Um, I know how to treat a woman right. And uh, can you hear him? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. <clears throat> you know, just okay. looking to get in the data room and kind of see what happens. There you go. There you go. And what about you, Stoner Tim? Tell her. Uh, tell him a little bit about I'm yourself. Just a stoner man. I just hey, put that mic a little bit towards. Oh, you want the dick yeah, towards my face? Yes, sir. I'm sorry about that. Hey, I just like to smoke a lot of weed, drink every now and then. You Hell know, yeah. Go, go hang out with my family, chill, work. Just the same shit every day. Hell yeah. Nothing dangerous. No, dude, living on the dangerous side. What do you yeah. think about that, Em? The dangerous side? Yeah, the dangerous side. Sounds like my life, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Work. Damn. So, it, a lot of people don't, I mean, don't necessarily know this, but we've kept them separated. So, Em's not seen these guys before, correct? Yeah. So they've never seen these guys before. Tell us about yourself. So, Am, tell these guys a little bit about yourself. So, I'm a housekeeper. I'm really sweet and kind. Um, I like going to movies. I like the beach. Movie in the beach, huh? I heard that. Movie in the beach. Movie in the beach. Can Woo! That. Damn! That sounds like a good time. On the, on the beach and shit, and man. Mm -hmm. And I can cook, too. She and she can cook. Oh, she can cook. That's a bonus really right there. She can cook. Oh, okay. Draven could cook too. Damn. Emily, what can you cook? I made uh, this like vegan um, Chinese like dumpling things. Those were good. Oh, pot stickers. Oh. Pot stickers. Those are good. Pot I like pot stickers. He said the pot stickers. Really Is that what you made? You pot. You made pot stickers. Yeah. Damn, she can make pot stickers. <laughs> Stoner Tim, what when up? you get the munchies, what kind of food are you eating? Oh man, I I, I fucking cook everything. <laughs> yeah. It depends. It depends if I want to make uh, tacos or hamburgers or fucking hook it up with some burritos or something. It okay. What I feel like eating. Shit, dog. Shit. So so am am and tell yeah, us. Every now and then. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I get it, man. Am tell us where you're from. Redlands? Redlands. Representing Redlands, California. Redlands, the diamond of the Inland Empire. The diamond of the Inland Empire. That's what they do call it, right? The That's ruby. right. The ruby. Oh, and of course, we have what here? A ginger redhead. Oh, I'm sorry, Daywalker. Uh-oh. Were you supposed to release any information like that? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, where are you from, Stoner Tim? Uh, all over the United States. All over the United States. <laughs> Sheboygan, West Sheboygan. 
That means Sheboygan. When you all over from the United States, that means you're from fucking Sheboygan, right? I guess so. I don't even know. Shit. I, I Shit, yeah. And Draven, where are you from? Loma Linda. Loma Linda. They live the longest in Loma Linda. That's what I heard. They live the longest in Loma Linda. From what I hear. That's what that's a story. Okay. In Loma Linda they live in longest? So I know you had some questions, maybe uh, M, right? Am I right? Yeah. We want to ask a few questions to these contestants. Contestant one is Draven. Contestant two is Stoner Tim. You can call him by name. Don't matter. Go ahead. Draven and Stoner Tim. Yep. Draven and Draven. 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 Okay. Maven. (laughs) Maven. Well, (laughs) so uh, first off, actually, I want to know, M, how many questions do you have total? Seven. Seven? Okay. So when you ask the questions, you're going to ask them to contestant one and then contestant two, and then that that should give us a nice good amount of uh, content. Yeah. And then we'll add some shit too. So. yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Em. So, what's your funniest joke? What? What's your funniest joke? What's your funniest joke? You stomped him, man. You stomped him in the first fucking question. It was a hardball. Did you see that? It was a fucking hardball. All of the above. I don't want to say anything too too much. She's testing you, dog. I know she is, dog. Yeah, I know. I can't even think of me right now. No? None of you. (laughs) <laughs> uh, here, I'll tell a joke while you guys think of a joke, okay? <laughs> All right. So, Matthew McConaughey, uh, George Clooney, and Leonardo DiCaprio all want to get together and make a movie. DiCaprio says, I'll produce. Clooney says, I'll direct. You better be fucking thinking. No, and I'm McConaughey not, says, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> And that's why he gets the poon. This is why he gets the poon. Guys, that's why he does take a note. Because he knows McConaughey jokes. It just made the lady, it made him laugh. Was it a good joke? Guys, she's, she, she's flashing us right now. No joke. She might. She might. She said she might. She might. So, so that's the thing, guys. I mean, seriously. So... Guys, oh, titties, did you guys could you guys come up with a joke yet? Honestly, I can't think of a joke right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay, I'm fuck. Pass that one. You you, you stomped them on that one. Good I'm job, Em. Good job. They both don't have a personality. Too crude or mean or anything. It certainly is raining shit on Stoner Tim and Draven. It's completely raining shit. Sorry, I know a lot of racist jokes. I would have done a stupid knock knock joke to make the lady laugh. I got a good question. How Draven? How did you get your nickname? From the crow. From the crow. From the crow. Eric Draven. From a from a fucking a crow. A crow. Yeah, from a crow. Actually, it, it was a, a character in a, uh, a story that I was trying to write back in high school. Okay. All right. Well, listen, guys. Just how about try just give us any joke. I you know she said your best joke. What's just one you got in your head? Come on. I'm sure you can give us any kind of joke. Knock knock. Who's uh, there? Doctor. Doctor Who. I win. Damn, you got did. some good fucking jokes. <laughs> this guy's got some good fucking jokes. Good uh, let's see here. That's why he gets the poon, guys. Uh, all right, well, this one's kind of like cheesy, but uh, there's a pirate that had a bird, and the bird kept saying, fuck you, one eye. He's like, hey, if you don't shut up, I'm going to cut off your beak. And the bird kept saying, fuck you, one eye. He's like, hey, if you don't shut up, I'm going to cut off your beak. So he cut off his beak, and the bird just went. <laughs> <laughs> she, she there you go. It. She got it. I didn't get it, but she got it, and that's what matters. She laughed. She not. did. What about you, Stoner Tim? I'm dead dry right now, man. Did you know you're on a show right now? Yeah, I know I'm on a show. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know, yeah. I'm kind of yeah, yeah, really yeah. high yeah. and drunk and everything, too. So. Draven's in the lead. Draven is in the lead. All right. Go ahead, Em. What's your second question? What's the wildest thing you've ever done? What's the wildest thing you've ever done? Ooh, that's hard. Like, when, uh, can you give me, like, a range? Like... <laughs> like, it, it depends. Tim, your job is kind of wild. Like, the, no, but, you, I mean, I done wild shit back when I was a kid too. So, okay, it depends, here, like, I'll put it to you guys like this: What's something wild, either f- sexually or adventurous? You know, like, oh my god, like that, like that lady that pushed the bear, you know, in L.A. to save her dogs. That was wild. You mean having sex so with my girlfriend on her grandma's grave because she wanted? Wait, what? 
Wait, you have a girlfriend? Well, when I had a girlfriend. I when you had a girlfriend? Did you lie on the application to get on the show? <laughs> no. But did you say you had sex? On her with grandma's grave. On yeah. her grandmother's grave. That's what she wanted. That's that's wild. How, that, that's how, what I'm saying. I didn't want to go too far or too much. That's when that's, this, that's the show. That's the show. Do you know what's kind of crazy shit I've done? Come on. You're fine. I've done, I've done a lot of crazy then shit, dude. Tell us a crazy but, fucking story. I just don't want to. Wrap myself out. Let's put it that way. Okay, well, I got a question real quick. How fresh was it was the grave? Oh, the grave wasn't that fresh. <laughs> I wish it was more fresher than it was, but it wasn't that fresh. What I'm asking is, how dead was the grandmother? She been dead for oh, years. She been year, dead for a couple of years. Okay, few years. Rest in peace. R- 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 <laughs> grandma. Rest in peace. Uh, for me, it was just trying to overcome my fear of heights at uh, Knott's Berry Farm, the one on the uh, Supreme Screen. That's the craziest thing you've ever done? Yeah, for, for me, yeah, trying to get over my fear of heights. Uh, that's. Hmm. I do understand what he means because me and heights, we yeah. don't heights. What do you, what do you think about that, Em? I like roller coasters. Yeah, you like roller coasters. <laughs> you, you like roller coasters oh, now? Yeah. Yeah, love roller coasters. I make a roller coaster. I make a roller coaster. My bitch. A guy uh, in Sweden that uh, right. built a roller coaster. I can. To, I, can uh, I can feel Triple D's vagina getting moist. There, there oh. was a guy in Sweden that actually built a roller coaster. So if you wanted to die, you could actually go on it and actually die. Oh, yeah, the death, where it goes in loops. yeah, there's like seven yeah. like, loops and everything. There you the go. Drop is like straight vertical. Jeez. They said the spin would kill you before yeah. you even finish. All right, Am. What's your What's your next question? Um. Smaller big boobs. Smaller big boobs. Big. Big. He said big. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I've been with it all. all yeah. Guys. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no, there you go. I'm not lying. There you go. Big so, ones are fun, big ones are fun to play with, though. I would like to lay on them. And fondle. <laughs> so big enough to lay on. Not <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I can't lay on a chihuahua. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. I, wanna, I, wanna nice I mean, she has a baby you know? ears. You know, you want some fucking leche, man. You, yeah, don't, want you, to, know you don't have to suck in your brother's tit for milk. <laughs> so, like, you know, my theory my on tits is, like, big boobs are just fun. You know, you get a girl on top, you, she rides, they're bouncing. I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. I got a show. But small tits have got personality. They, they look do. like little raindrops. They're so cute, though. Yeah. What it, What do you like, Em? I like small ones because they're like so tiny and cute. Uh huh. Like yeah. <laughs> you know what? Hey, sometimes with the small ones, if little baby toes. Little baby toes. They call the trick dicks. The yeah, trick dicks. Super bad. The little I mountain peaks. Fucking do trick dicks. Tricks on my homegirl's tits. Trick dicks. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That shit was badass. She All right, Em. That's a good question, tits. right? Well, what's another question you want to ask? What's the sweetest thing you've ever done? What's the sweetest thing you've ever done? Hello. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wrote a uh, wrote a poem for my uh, my girlfriend at the time on Valentine's Day and went. It was supposed to be our one month anniversary. I went by her house, dropped off the poem, and arose and left. And yeah, she never said anything about it. That's like the sweetest thing I've ever done. All right, all right. What do you think about that, DK? That's not bad. That's not bad. But yeah, but like, I want to hear the poem. Own, I, I write poems. It's, it's my own do, you know, do you know the one that you gave her? I don't know it by heart, but yeah, I know. I, I can always write it again. The sweetest thing I ever did got me no vagina. I uh, I she bought <laughs> <laughs> I bought flowers for the chick I had a crush on, and then I wrote her a poem. But I, I it was basically just the lyrics to "Best of You" by Foo Fighters. <laughs> I wrote a poem one time, and I you know, but it had to do with the Whitney Houston song. <laughs> I believe the children are our future. <laughs> I actually heard somebody did a read a read a speech That's with that in. Fuck. That's fucking stupid. Well, my sweetest thing is um, some little kid pushed one of my nieces, and I know another little kid around his age, and I paid him five dollars to go kick him in his face. So that's pretty fucking sweet, dude. I have that sweetness in me. Sometimes we just don't have that sweetness in us. It is too sweet. Oh, hey, turn that light on behind you guys. That one, yeah, click that light so you can have some fucking, yeah, you both short. <laughs> Just step on each other's <laughs> shoulders. You did all we gotta get that's it. pretty good. Okay, that's a good question. I'm glad you brought that up, okay? So, question? so far, I mean, so far, what, what, we're probably at a tie. Yeah, we're probably at a tie. I mean, they're both pretty sweet, right? These are pretty good dudes so yeah. far. Yeah. All right, go ahead and ask, uh, ask him another question, Em. Um. 
Um, what's your favorite sex position? Ooh. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm multiple. I like to flip around. I can't stay in one position too long. Yeah. Because it gets boring. Yeah. You know, you hit it from the back, then you grab the hair, then you're like, man, this shit's boring. Then you got to flip the laser up. Then you, that shit's boring. Then you got to flip them around again. Yeah. That shit gets boring. Yeah, you, you know? like variety. Yeah, then get right. It Hell yeah. Every now and then. So, yep. 69 is mine. 69. Oh, Am, do you like that? You kind of kicked your toes a little bit. <laughs> You like the 69 in? Do you like that? See? Okay, she said yeah. Oh, man, I've seen her do some crazy stuff. Yeah. Her, her and I went... Um, can I tell that story? We went to... Where we, where we, went, we went to Beaumont together? Yeah. Um, we went to a swingers club together, and I was not really, like, trying to do anything. I was just... Like, she told me I was a social butterfly. Then I, like... Dis she disappears for, like, five minutes, and then I turn to another room, and she's... Riding this one guy's dick while the while the guy's eating her, uh, another chick's pussy and they're making out. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna watch this for a second. But, uh, I saw you over there. You were like perving on me. Jeez. Yeah, he was taking hey, pictures. Free, free porn show. Shit, might as well watch for a second. He was so. taking pictures, mental pictures. Let me pull out the camera. Did she word a flash? Would we get in trouble? Like, oh, well, she can't be on the camera. I mean, we can see, but uh, you okay, know, can't put it on camera. To blur it out or something real quick. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have that ability. We don't have that kind of software. I'm right. These guys are going to be jealous. Completely jelly that we've seen some boobs. Our neighbor over here is going to be real excited. Probably have a heart attack. And shit Probably have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> he has a heart on. He has a heart on. Then he has a heart attack. So he's just standing up. There you go. There you go. But anyways, yeah, like I said, so that's a good question. And uh, so I hope... What do you think? Who 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 won, Who got the favorite position here? Was it the sixty nine or was it the um, spider monkey? And I'll go everywhere. Sixty nine. The sixty nine. Okay, so another one for Draven. All right. Great, great, fantastic. All right. What's the next question? What TV show do you like to watch? What TV show you like to watch? It really depends on the genre. I can watch. I, I like comedy, action, drama. <laughs> yeah, just things the fucking shows off. Uh, MacGyver, Hawaii Five O. MacGyver. How I Met Your Mother, the old one, the classic. Yeah. How I Met Your Mother. Friends. ER. Damn. Grey's Anatomy. Uh, are you sure you're, you're straight? <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know I'm being like a real asshole today. It's all right. But like I've known I, you first, I, I've known you long enough. It's cool. Okay, yeah. No, I I hear Friends and Grey's Anatomy, and I'm like, gay. But that's just me. Emily, before Tim an answers, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us some of your favorite TV shows? Um, I like Harlots, The Sex Life, um, Game of Thrones. Yes, Game of Thrones is awesome. Yeah. Until the last season. Um, I, Bridgerton. I don't think I've fully seen all of it. What was that last one? Bridgerton. I don't think I know that one. It's the new one on Netflix. It's like about a bunch of like um, aristocrats. And she falls in love with the Duke because she can't get married because her brother is too protective. But Okay. I must have missed that one, but you know. <laughs> uh, Tim, you some... Tim, what's your favorite? Uh, some of your favorite TV shows? Oh, the shows I like to watch is Walking Dead. Um, what is it? Uh, there's a funny one, uh, Z Nation. That was oh. Cool. Uh, then there's some animes I get into every now and then. Then pretty much that's probably it. And Emily, are you a fan of anime? Yes. Um, Great answer. <laughs> Fruit Basket's pretty good. Um, there's a bunch of, like, random little ones that are, like, more raunchy. I guess I like raunchy TV. Oh, you're, you, you, are you into hen hentai? Yes. Okay. No, no, we're not judging. Don't worry about that. I was just like, because I know you're, like, raunchy animes. I'm like, well, kind of like hentai? <laughs> they're, like, close to hentai, but they're not actually hentai. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's, like, With the, the happy tree film. friends? That Happy <laughs> tree friends. <laughs> that's that's some pretty funny shit, though. <laughs> I I remember one time 
when it was really when when porn was still kind of like hard to get for kids for teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Where you have to watch the blurry TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, gotta, you, you have to wait oh, to yeah. a certain time. A friend of mine was like, "Dude, I got an anime porn." I'm like, "Let's watch it." It was called Potato Boy. <laughs> oh fuck! And it was not. Were you it was not what? the business. <laughs> the most. It's not about a boy or a potato. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, if, if I remember right, it was about this guy whose dream was to work at essentially it's a Japanese version of Playboy called Potato Boy. And like the only thing I remember is that it's they had a scene where they're trying to get this model to you know relax and get nude and naked and whatnot, and she's not into it. So then uh, the main character is like, "You don't understand how beautiful you are," and this and that. And, that. and the next scene, no, I'm almost done. Next thing you know, he he's fingering her and getting her wet, and then then they have sex, and that was all I remember about the Great story. thing. Great I know. Story. Uh, cool story, flashback. Hansel. Good flashback, man. Go okay, now we can go on to the next question. Go ahead, Emily. Why would you go on a date? Start off at a romantic restaurant, then a nice romantic walk around the beach during sunset. Whoa, the romantic type. You the one and only. You got to promise to wear that outfit when you go on the date. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. If you don't wear that outfit, hot. then yeah. That's going to be hot. Damn, <laughs> son. <laughs> you got to keep it up. Then you got to do a little makeup. It's 90 on. degrees in the studio. He's wearing this outfit. So that's committed. Bad. I saw your boots, I think. Yeah. Oh, did you get yeah, turned yeah. on by his boots? If you like his boots. You like his boots, Sam? Without looking at these guys, <laughs> what do you what do you imagine? What do you imagine that uh, Draven here looks like? I think he's emo. Okay. Okay, like what is short, tall? Like taller, like more masculine, and uh -huh. then Tim is more like not feminine, but like yeah, feminine-ish. Right. So, like sh sh you know, short hair, long hair, or Stoner Tim. Um, Stoner Tim, short, spiky hair, right. and like where's his ball cap? Right. Yeah, but <laughs> that's a good. That's pretty good. T-shirt and the, like jeans and like sneakers. Right. Yeah. You. Yeah. You nailed it. Um, <laughs> he's exactly what he looks like. <laughs> so, uh, what about so Draven? Draven is uh, Draven's an, a, a punker. Would you say emo? Emo type? Like an emo. He looks like a cross between Blade and Star Lord. Oh, oh yeah, right. yeah, Blade Lord, <laughs> Star Blord, <laughs> Star Blord. <laughs> yeah, all right. What do you guys think Em looks like? Draven, tell us. Uh, maybe like five five, maybe a little goth, a little freaky. Yeah, a little freaky, a little gothic kind of looking. Okay. What about you, Stoner Tim? I don't know, man. To tell you the truth, honestly, yeah. I, I, it's, it's hard to say. You never told us your your romantic date. Come on. Oh, was what my romantic date? What I would do? I'll take her to a movie probably because since she likes movies. Mm -hmm. Then after the movie, I might take her to a beach because it depends what time it is. You know. Yeah. And it depends where I'm at, at the place because I might just take her to the movie right there next to the beach. Makes it easier on everybody. That's needs to get true. Home. Yeah. Then, that way you can get home look easier. Yeah. You know that, but. It all depends how I feel like if I want to take her on that kind of date or not. Okay, so I've got I've got a question for Emily, only because she knows I'm a pervert. So Em, judging by the questions so far, if you were to take one of these guys on a date, do you think you'd give them the V? I give Draven the V. Ooh, yeah. fuck you, Tim. <laughs> Fucking Tim, you better step up your game in this questioning, yeah. dog. Damn, son. Better step up your game, son. There's only a couple questions left. I have one more. Okay, all right, Em. What, what is Where it? In Where uh, in the world would you want to go? Where in the world is... Ireland. Ireland. Wow. For what reason? Why? Uh, my grandma was from there, and... <sighs> want to go visit the uh, Guinness factory. That's right. <laughs> that would be kind of cool if we could. 
What do you mean if you could? You just do the damn thing, dude. Yeah, you just do the damn thing. Hey, well, it's the Guinness factory, though. You have to go through a background check before you can even go in. Amsterdam, because they I heard they have one of the best pots out there and it's one of the head central or central capital in the world and shit. So I figured I could fuck I could fuck and smoke at the same time, which is a double point. So we want one guy that wants tradition, and the other guy just wants to fucking weed. God damn it. Smoke weed and fuck. Smoke weed and fuck. Okay. All right. Well, that is what we have here. Let's. Let's. Um, no. Let's ask the dudes. The dudes, uh, go ahead and uh, ask some questions, guys. On a scale from one to ten, how big would you say your dinghy is? Get over here! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. You already know. I'm gonna fuck what you I said was on a scale from one to ten, how big are your dinghies? How big's your dinghy, Draven? <sighs> This is a scale from one to ten, not inches. It's a scale. Just an idea. Give us an idea. Said three inches. That's what they say. That's what they say. Who said that? 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 What about See you, me, Tim? I have to say a 10, man. I can't fucking... Bullshit. Don't fucking lie to me, dude. Hey, you ain't 10. Even, stand up. Stand up. Even, even stand up, Tim. Stand up, Tim. No Let's dick. see your fucking I, cock line. Grab your dick. Grab your, grab your dick right now. Why do I need to grab my dick? Because I don't believe you. I'm my beer and trying to enjoy myself. You, you, so anybody that says dick. 10 inches lying to you. Yeah. So he's got to lie to you. He's going to say 10 inches, Tim. Do you believe him? No. Next question. If he had the opportunity to have sex with her, what would he do? And how would he do it? And for how long would he do it? And what would be good? Well, I do got a pair of handcuffs at home. And <laughs> oh. Damn. 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 Damn, ma'am. Handcuffs, get some cream. I don't know. Em's got, Em's got, her nickname is Double D, right? Triple D. Triple, Triple D. D. Those are triple D's? Jesus Christ. That's what I was saying, ma'am. That's what she was saying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Well, he didn't answer his question. Oh, wait, yeah. Who, me? Yes. Oh, what I would do? Oh, I'm, I don't know. I'm spartanity. I go everywhere. And I don't stop, so. And he don't oh, stop. Oh, oh. Oh, magic word. <laughs> so I don't, even, I don't even know what she would want to do. We go to the fucking park right. right now. We go to her parents' bedroom on her dad's back. I don't give a fuck. We do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like I never Who's fucked her on her dad's back. <laughs> Shit. Dad's back. <laughs> this, this is the best <laughs> episode. You know, you know that oh, table God. at your parents' house that no one lets you have cups on. Yeah, we would <laughs> fuck on that table. That <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Look at Emily. She's just dying. All right. Okay. Um. Here, this is the, 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 the this is gonna be uh. The PG question, because I got two for you guys. PG question. All right. There's PG? I didn't know that. Yeah, motherfucker. All right. So, what Batman villain are you, and what Batman villain is she? Joker and Harley Quinn. Oh, two. Tim? Damn, that's crazy, because I always thought I was the Joker. Always. Everybody wants to be fucking Joker. But no, if, if I have to say anything, then I'll say she's part of like a poison ivy, and I'll have to be like a fucking evil Batman. Cause oh, okay. I definitely see that. Yeah, I can see that happening. I see I it either way. Since he took Joker, I can't take the Joker, so I have to go my own route. You know what I mean? Love it. Poison ivy. Nailed it. All right. Nailed it. Now, the second question. This one, the second question is getting naughty. All right. Fetishes. Go. What do you mean fetishes? I haven't seen her, so I can't even say what. No, no, you're fetish, dude. You're fetish, dude. Draven, what is it? You have any fetishes? Like I said, uh, wrist restraints. I have a straight jacket. Shit. <laughs> What's she, uh, Chris Angel? <laughs> what are you, Chris Angel? She's fucking going all crazy on us. This shit wants to tie her up and just keep her there. Lock her, lock her in a fucking dungeon. We're going to go over to his house and she's just going to be hanging on the wall in the straight jacket. Like, help me. My head's going to be shot off. <laughs> like, now nah, you're on your own. I, I've been it puts the lotion on the skin. Good luck. <laughs> 
I just want to drink a water. <laughs> I just want to drink a water. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How about this? How about this? Guys, you're fucking her from behind. Hold on. And she says, harder, daddy. What do you do? Harder. Harder. And pull her hair. Oh, damn. Maybe give her a nice little shocker in between. A shocker. Mama Bucks. Mama Bucks, you got some qu- you got some questions for these contestants? I don't. Mama Bucks is now all of a sudden quiet. Okay, she was picking your brain earlier. Damn. Okay, well, uh, guys, what is your questions for M? What questions do you have? Actually, let's do this. You have you have uh, you have a minute to tell M why she should pick you. Yes. Go ahead. You start. Uh, you first, do Draven. I know how to treat a woman right. Um, I'm a very romantic guy. I'm one of a kind. I know how to write poetry, and you know I'm a really, really good, nice looking guy. He's a good, nice looking guy. I'm a gentleman. There you go, gentleman. What about you? Why she should pick you? Bedroom, I could be a lot different too. Do you have a twin sister or cousin looks like you? Because if you do, I'll get her pregnant and you can just raise all the kids. <laughs> what the fuck did he say? What the? Say that again. I said if she had a twin sister or a cousin looks like her, I get her pregnant. Okay, I'll still fuck the living shit out of her, but then she could raise up all our kids because it'd be hers, but from her twin sister or Mo- cousin. <laughs> Mother of God. Hey, that way she don't lose her good body shape. You know what I mean? Charming. Charming. <laughs> Charming, that yeah, one. Always, always. <laughs> so you are the villain from the Disney movie. Yes, I am. That's, <laughs> I always that is I am it. the villain. No matter what, I'm always the villain. I'm a better villain. Jesus I Christ. So, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't, I'm the top villain around this motherfucker. <laughs> you haven't seen me in so, my, my, my M- I don't need oh. to be a villain. I don't need to do I'll just do it for fun. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Who's the top villain? I don't know. Maybe you don't, do you like villains? Do you like bad guys? So why don't you ask me questions? Nope. Before right, I think. Guys, now give her questions. Give her questions, guys. Uh, I just said. Uh, what's your favorite sex position? What's your favorite sex position, Em? Cowgirl. Right, I'm cowgirl. <laughs> Gonna Friend. do the two step yeah. in the cowboy booties. <laughs> Got right. the bitches in the back. Okay, if me and you went on a date, where would we go? Oh. And movies, you had to choose probably. a pick and do everything. Probably in the movies, she said. Probably to the movies. How probably would I dress? Movie. How would he dress? Know. T-shirt and jeans. T-shirt and jeans. I don't like fucking jeans. Why do they really always say jeans? Why are you arguing with a big tit woman? I don't argue with big tit women. I'm just arguing with the jeans thing. I don't like fucking jeans. How bad do you want this date, Tim? <laughs> one one through ten. I want my beer more. I want the date. Okay. So you don't want that much. Tim, for you, for you, Emily. Tim is wearing a t-shirt and a long shorts, and a two-inch dick. Yeah, and a two-inch dick. I like how I wasn't. <laughs> All right. Any other questions for him? Uh, M, if we went on a date, where would we go? Where would we go, Em? Um, Ooh. a little coffee shop or something like that. Do you like coffee? Yes, I do. He says he loves coffee. Coffee is it's his favorite. Tim hasn't asked a question. question. Yeah, I did. I asked her. What's your ideal perfect date? What's your ideal perfect date? M. Me? Yeah. Um. No, the beach. The beach? Out and like sitting with a book. Maybe like reading to each other. That'd be fun. Okay. All right. That's awesome. You're a sweet lady. That is. The fucking beach. The beach, reading the book and waiting. All right, Em. Yeah. All right, Em. I, you guys have talked long enough. The time has come to pick. You're just there. Uh, let's see. And uh, let me see if I have a uh, drum roll. Drum roll or fucking. I fucking don't, man. All right, and all right, and Em. Who did you decide? Draven. Draven. All right. All right. Why didn't you select uh, Stoner Tim here? Um, I just didn't like his answers. Right. Right. 
Draymond yeah. seems like more of a sweetheart. Okay, Stoner Tim, why don't you come over here and say hi to M? Yeah, no problem. All right, just say hi to M. There she is right there. Draymond, stay there. All right, you missed that. So, so Stoner Tim, st- Stoner Timmy, Stoner Tinny. Do you think, do you do you think you fucked up now, seeing after seeing M? Do you think you might have taken that a little more a little more serious? <laughs> He's out. He's out. <laughs> yeah, that answers that question. <laughs> All right. And um, so the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's go ahead, guy. Uh, go ahead, stand up, Draven. And why don't you go say hi to him? All right. Wow, look at how tall he is. All right. All right. So what do you? Go ahead and move that divider, Joe. You can sit on the couch. You can sit on the couch. Go ahead and move the divider. You can sit on the couch. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, go ahead and pick up that mic, uh, Em. I think you might be sitting on it. It might be Mike. Yeah, yeah. And Joe, you can bring that mic. You just go ahead and sit that. You can sit in that chair or whatever you want to do. Move that divider back a little bit, uh, um, Raul. Okay. Congratulations, you two. You uh, you have done it. Um, what what is your first impression of uh, Draven here, Em? He kind of looks like Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars or Star uh, Star Lord. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> I will take that. I love Star Wars. Yeah, he loves Star Wars. Okay, what do you think about Em? She's pretty cute. Yeah, she's cute. Yeah. Dang. So, uh, where are you guys headed? To where? What? What? What date you want to go on? Courtesy of the booze and the dudes. Where are we going? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? (laughs) (laughs) See what happens? happens? Nothing love but first sight here on the booze and dudes podcast. (laughs) Fuck Chuck Woolery. We got the real love connection. Joe's car. Joe can watch. That's it, Joe can watch. Okay. Jeez. You know, you know. There you go. Show Joey. Show. Show. I could show his toes on the fucking couch. He's a nice guy, but I don't need to see him ride, uh, get ridden. Joe, like, not again. Yeah, not again. You're doing it wrong, Travis. Let me show you. So, Travis. If I'm watching, I get to go first because I hate sloppy seconds. How excited are you based on a 1 through 10? Very excited. It's been been a while. Like I said, yeah. I just recently got single. So, and M, uh, based on a one through ten, how uh, how do you, uh, based on a one through ten, how lucky do you think? Like, do you think Travis could get lucky tonight? One through ten. I don't know. He's a sweetheart. I'll see what happens. Okay, there you go. That's good enough. So, you guys want to go to a bar right now? Where you want to go? No, we're gonna go next week. We go. Ne- oh, we're gonna go next week. Yes. Oh, we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna plan it next week. So you guys are down for the date then? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Fuck yeah. So oh, think man. of where you want to go, and uh, we'll make sure to plan a bunch of cameras <laughs> <laughs> and completely, <laughs> completely <laughs> spy on <laughs> you. <laughs> I just, I just, hold on, hold on. I, I just imagine. Very good, sir. And when it's over, ooh, what a lovely tea party. <laughs> I just imagine that, no, yeah, he is the, the the toilet guy. And when he's done washing his hands, he he tips him and goes, thanks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so, you, any questions you guys want to uh, tell each other since you now yeah, see him? Talk to each other. Ask each other talk questions. To each other, ask each other questions. Let's go. There you go. All right. <laughs> I talked more, so you have to talk now. <laughs> yeah. What, what did she ask? She talks a lot, she said. <laughs> she said she talks a lot, so I have to talk now. Yeah. Um, 
Favorite kind of music? Uh, I like all kinds. I like rock, country. Um, I have like more alternative tastes. Mm -hmm. Like, have you heard of um, like? <laughs> I can't think of the name right oh, now. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> that is a good sound. Of <laughs> <laughs> that song does sound familiar. It's Melanie Martinez. I almost saw her in concert. Okay. Damn. What do you think I listen to? Rock. Oh, look at me. Fuck you. I, oh, I, I, I love heavy metal. I love rock, but I listen to a little country, a little classical music, um, some blues, all around type of guy. Some rap, not really much hip hop, but. Okay, for you guys. All right. Biggest turn on and biggest turn off. Beat for a turn off. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say did you just say feet is your biggest turn off? Yeah. And you were with DK at one time? Oh fuck. Yes, DK, can you show us your show. toes on the on camera, please? <laughs> there you, look at those things. Whoa, look at that one. It's winking at me. <laughs> Oh my god! Jesus, jeez. Do you, M? Do you like his boots? You like uh, Draven's boots? Yeah, they're cute. Dang. Is that would your would you say that was your first turn on? And like, man, I like those fucking boots. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get boots like that. Well, I'll be two inches taller. We're gonna pull a, a, a Ric Flair and go buy a bunch of boots. And that is it for our program, ladies and gentlemen. What a fantastic night. Ooh, a, of night a night of romance, a night of cu uh, curiosity. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful thing. And uh, you know what? It all happened on the booze and the dudes. And when we tell you we find love for, you know, people, we do. We do. We come through. We are matchmakers. Chuck Woolery has nothing on us. Not a goddamn thing on us. So, uh, you know, like I said, anything else, uh, DK? Oh, well, let's just go ahead and wish the happy couple a good shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut yeah, up. a good shut the fuck up. You lost, shut the fuck up. Anyways, we hope the lucky couple will have fun on their date, and who knows, maybe we'll see some sparks. But for, for me and Big Buck Chuck, let's go ahead and say goodnight and give them all a big kiss. Mwah! Yeah. Yeah.